I hope the audio is recording right. This is my first time using this, so let's see. Okay, I think it is. All right, good. All right, well, welcome. Um, my name is Miyuki, and I'm going to be doing a short demo on how to use these AI friend pets. They are really, really cool pets. I uh, spray in the word to let people know just how cool they really are, and hopefully soon everyone will know. But I'm going to do my part to try and help uh, everyone learn how to use them properly by, you know, helping people learn some of the features that I in initially struggled with because for at least English speaking people, sometimes the instructions can be a little hard to understand, which is fine, you know, just means you need a little extra help. Oh, are you getting a little bigger mirror? No, you're just a little weird. Okay. First of all, these are my four pets. So I got a pretty broad range. Uh, I've got May here, my Corgi. She was my first one. As you can see, she's already getting a little bigger. She's size 74, I believe. She started at 50. Over here is Hiyoko. She's my Bengal kitty. She was my second pet. Steel, get out of the way. She's my second pet. And she's just a little bit behind on May. I got them about a day apart. Over here, May, you need to move. Your butt's in the way. Over here is Miruku. He's my fennec fox, who is horribly adorable. Yes, he's a boy. I know he's wearing pink and flowers, but it really suits him well. Then right here is Steel. He's a new one. I just come today. He's a husky puppy. It'll take him quite some time to grow up to his full adult size. Anyways, I'm just going to help show you some of their features. First off. All right. So say hello, you three. Alright, well, obviously, as you can see, they have clothing options. Right now, there's not a whole lot. There, there'll be more added at some point, but, you know, they're still fairly new. I mean, I'm not quite sure exactly how old they are, but they are still fairly new. There's some accessories, like the headbands that Mei and Hyoko are wearing. I purchased from the store, which you have to res the box out and res it onto them. I'll show you that in a little bit. First off, let's use one of these guys as a test. How about you, Hiyoko? Huh? Would you like to be the test? Alright, first things first. Would you guys get out of the way? Alright, let me get the other ones out of the way for a moment. I'm going to put them on free mode. Free mode means that they're going to run around. I'll show you the all the HUD settings in just a moment. And me. There you go. That'll get you guys out of the way. Alright, so here's Hiyoko, my kitty, and I'm going to dress her up. So, first things first is I want her to be, to take off all her clothes, so I click Nude. Which puts her back in the nude, which is how they will be when you unpack them. So as you can see, we have this lovely menu of clothes already in the HUD. A nice variety. Now for Hyoko, I'm going to put the clothes she already had back on. But first I'll show you some of these because they're pretty cool. Uh, and there's some more from the store you can purchase. I've purchased a few headbands, but that's about it. So first things first, there's things like earmuffs. And see, when you click on the item, it'll tell you which pet you want to put them on. Then it'll start to res. Come on, Hyo. Hopefully in time there might be eye color options. But for now, they're all just very cute. And every single pet is incredibly adorable I mean I really I really wish I could have them all and I thought I put them on oh I put them on me oops <laughs> I'll fix that in a bit okay Hyoko which means little leopard so Hyoko should be wearing the earmuffs in just a moment some of the items look a little strange when they're on sometimes they only work with certain pets but you can mix and match and see what works for you uh, let's see and there's a lot of different options. There's hats, an umbrella. I haven't tried putting that one on yet. Let's see how that looks. I put that on May again. Oops. Well, I'll fix May later. But there's lots of little op ah, that's cute. But there's lots of little options that you can do to customize your pet. Just fine. You know, there's horns. So you can really have fun with it. And like I said, there's a few 
items for sold in the store th for dressing them up that you res them out and put them on um, and I'm sure in time they'll be more added and there'll be a nice variety I'm not sure maybe in time there'll even be a way for people to make you know clothing to put on them see here's some pants let's put her shirt back on So yeah, I, I personally don't use the pants too often, but some of them can look cute if you do them right. See those? These are a set, so they're meant to be together. See, they're kind of cute. Got little pants on her. See in here, you can take them off. Now, for her ribbon, her ribbon was a resed out item, so... I'm going to show you how to put on a red item. First, I go to my inventory, and I've, I've organized my folders a specific way, so. All right, let's see. I actually put those in this one. So I'm going to the brown dress box. Hairband, I'm gonna pull that out. And see, it's gonna start to search for your pets, and you want to wait until the pet that you want to wear it name their name appears up here. Now, as you can see, both, you know, Hyoko, May, Steel, their names are all on here. Miruku, which doesn't show very well. Oh, there it is, May. So, you're going to click this, and then you're going to pick your pet's name, and it'll res the item on top of them, on top of their head. Just got to give it a moment. Usually works better than that. I might have picked the wrong pet. Let's see. Sometimes they're a little glitchy, but more or less they work out pretty well. Hiyoko. There we go. See, now it's rezzed on her head. And there's May running around with the umbrella, which I'll fix in just a moment. So May was wearing the yellow one, so let's put that back on her. Just gotta wait for it to load in. May. There we go. All better. Now let me show you the HUD. Okay, first off, here's the first option, which if you click on that, it'll give you the link to go to their website blog. Where are you? I do not want to zoom in on you. Okay, there we go. Alright, then the second one, aid. If you click on it, then, you know, it can ask you, like, if you're having trouble with one of your pets, like, you need them recovered, or if they're having trouble, then you can click on one of these. I believe that's what it does. Let's see, Hyoko. Yeah, so it'll restart them for you. And, you know, just in case you're they're glitching a little bit, it just gives you an option what you can do with them. Then Lost, if you click on that, you can select one of your pets that is missing. And it's able to recover them for you, but your pets also come with a recovery version. That's the old one. I don't need that. So if you res that, then you can recover them if they're glitched or if they're lost. Oh no, lost, I forgot. Lost, if they're, miss if they're somewhere on the sim and you can't find them, that's what it is. Then you can click that and they should come to you. I don't use that all too often because my pets have a habit of staying where they need to be. So it's not usually a problem. Stop gives you the option to pick who you want to stop. And stop has some pretty cool features. Here, I'll show you. I'm going to test use Hyoko again. So, stop. See, she's on stop, which puts her in a standstill. It'll show you how high their voice is, which you can make it low or high. Right now, I have them on max. It shows you their size. Right now, she's size 54. She started at 30, and the version they are. Then, if you click on them, you get a nice little customization menu. You can change the color of their name. Right now, I have them on crystal, but you can use sun, which is the default, or, you know, snow, which is white. I mean... Just use the name to kind of guess what color it'll be. Let's see, I like to do crystal. 